In this session, we'll learn how to embed an image into a WordPress blog post or page. Now we already have a post started here, and this post is about some Amazon reviews of my book. So I want to embed a few images within the body of this post. I want to embed the book cover before this paragraph here. I want to embed an image of the author within this paragraph here. And then at the very bottom, I want to embed the logo of the publisher. So to insert or embed an image, you want to make certain that the cursor is placed where you want the image to be inserted. So in this case, I'm going to place it at the beginning of this paragraph. Now this area here is where you will upload or insert, insert into a page or post. You can insert an image, a video, or an audio file. So to insert an image, we're going to click on this icon here. It says Add an Image. There are three ways that I can add an image to a WordPress blog or page. I can upload it from my computer by clicking Select Files here. I can import it from a URL. If I know the direct URL on another website of an image, I can actually import it into my blog post using that URL. Or I can add it from my media library. Now, the only way that images are going to show up in my media library is if I've already uploaded them from my computer. So I'm going to, I want to insert the cover of the book, and the cover is already in my media library. So what I would do to insert this image is click on Show. I want to check the title and the alternate text of this image to make certain that, that they, they're both descriptive and exist. You always want to make certain that you have alternate text for every image that you have on your website. You can have a caption or not. You can give it a brief description if you like. And you can give it a link URL. Now what that means is that when somebody clicks on this image within the body of your post, they're going to be taken to this link. Now I actually do want a link URL here because I want the visitors to be able to link on to the book cover and have it take them to a place where they can purchase the book. And we can set our alignment here. If we set none, that means the text will wrap all the way around the image. We can select left, center, or right alignment. We can also choose the size of, it, or of our image either a very small thumbnail, medium image, or even the, the original size that the image was uploaded. Once we've done all of that, we want to click on Insert into Post. And once it's, once it's in the post, we want to go over here and click on Preview so we can get a look at what the image is going to look like once the, the post is published. And that looks a little big for me. So I want to alter the size. So to do that, I'm going to click on the image, and then I see two options. I can delete the image, or I can edit the image. Now I can actually adjust the size using percentages. I want it quite a bit smaller, so I'm going to go ahead and make it 60% of the size that was already in there. I don't want to change the alignment or the titles or the URL. But I know that there are also some advanced settings that I can that I can choose. So click on Advanced Settings. Here you can control the actual, you know, exact width and height of the image. You can give it a border by putting a number in there, uh, greater than zero. You can also give it certain horizontal space and and vertical space that it that the image is set aside or set apart from a text. I prefer to put 5 in here, and that's 5 pixels. And that's so that my images are not squished up against my text at all. And once I've made the changes that I want, I'll click Update. And I'm going to go ahead and preview it again. And that's a little bit better. So now I'm going to move on to the second image. I want that second image to be within this paragraph, so I'm going to put my cursor at the very beginning of that. 
I'm going to go up here and click on Add an Image. Now this time I'm going to upload this image from my computer. So from the very first tab here I'm going to click Select Files. I'm going to find the, the image that I want to insert and click Open. Now it'll crunch the file and upload it. And here is where I will set things like the title of the file and the alternate text. Now it's automatically going to put in the file name, but we want our title and alternate text to be more descriptive than that. Now in this one I am going to give this a caption. And this caption will show underneath the image. And I'm also going to give it a link URL, but it's going to be a different link URL this time because I want it to go to the author's home page. Now in this case my alignment is going to be right aligned to give my post a little bit of balance. And I'll go ahead and try the full size since this isn't a really large image to see if I like that size. And again I'm going to insert into post. I'm going to preview my post. And again, that looks a little bit big. So again, I click on the image. Maybe reduce that one only by 80% and then click Update. Now for the very last image I want to place, I just want to place the publisher's logo at the very bottom of this post. And I'm going to do that using a direct link. So if I click in the tab here, add an image from a URL. I know my publisher has given me the URL of this logo. Now WordPress will actually check to make certain that this is a valid image file. And it actually doesn't like it. And I do believe the reason is that the folder that it's in is capitalized and that's right. So it's going to give you a big X if it says no, it's not a valid file type and it's going to give you a nice green check mark if it is. If we want to give this a descriptive title, and again, alternate text, and an optional caption, which I will not do this time. Now, as far as the alignment goes, I'm just going to give it no alignment because I don't actually have any text wrapping around it or near it. And I do want this to link to Dalton Publishing homepage. And when I click on Insert into Post, there is the publisher's logo. So I'm going to preview this one more time. Decide whether I'm happy with it or not. And I am, so I will publish it. So if we view the post live, this is what it looks like. Okay, that concludes our session.